Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, 
So Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in, 47. Do you come? Up here. I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the center. Welcome! Welcome. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see so many friendly and familiar faces here today. Now, this has been a dream of mine for a great many years. And as all of you know, I am from one of the less privileged sides of the respectful Al Ghazali family. But with a small loan from my father, I soon built up a construction empire that was worthy.
I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazim. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Crystal Dawn, the Pan African terrorist organization. I almost hired him myself once, but chose the Maelstrom instead. Now, what is his business here? Ridiculous. Well... That's how it is. Think about it, and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, I was just asking nicely. No. You were being a bitch. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever idiots like you do. Or I'll do something worse than blowing cancer in your face. Oh my god, what is your problem? <coughs> Hello, sir. It was a big waste of time. Okay, well, just 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 <coughs> Excuse me.
What's up? If you want to... Sir, you're trespassing. Please, you need to turn around now. Yeah, keep going. Glad I made it clear to you. It's a pretty swanky place, huh? Oh, yeah. I could get used to a gig like this. Beautiful. Hey, bud. Hey, you! Where do you think you're going? Definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Sir, good to see you. Hold it, sir. I can't let you enter before I have a look in your pockets. Talking to you! That's it. One foot in front of the other. Final warning. I've got a twitchy finger on the trigger, mate. That's good, sir. Keep going. Sir, sir, you can't be here. That's it. One foot in front of the other, and goodbye forever. It's a pretty swanky place, huh? Looking good, man. Looking good. I hear you loud and clear. Leave the area in an orderly fashion, please. Yeah, no worries. Security measures means I can't let you through here, mate. 
Please vacate the area. Use of deadly force has been authorized. I need you to stand up. Let's go. Yeah, you're okay? Surrender th oh! I understand. Holy shit! What the hell are you up to? Answer me, sir. Creep! Stand down or I will end you! Fuck. What are you, some kind of troublemaker? Did you do this? Looking good today, sir. Yeah, you know the guest grumpy one always wants peace and quiet. Yeah, I haven't seen him playing golf today. You must be in a good mood. Don't tempt fate. Huh? Oi, you need to just Come in. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a you call down Yeah. Out. Why? Yeah, okay, I just wondered if you got the briefing on the lockdown drill tomorrow. Target engaged! Ugh. Hey, I need help over here. Hey, wake up. I think we got a situation. Someone's causing trouble. Please step aside. This one is expired. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass bald billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they can. Oh shoot, seen him? 